Now we will move towards the second type of the pure substances which are called the compounds. A compound can be defined as it is the pure substance of two or more than two different types of elements which are chemically combined together in a fixed ratio by mass. This definition is telling us about three important things. Number one is that different types of elements are necessary for the formation of a compound. Clear? Different types of elements are involved. For example, we have the compound H2O and you can see that it is the combination of two different elements, hydrogen and oxygen. Clear? Same is the case with the common salt NaCl. It is the combination of different elements that is sodium and A is sodium and Cl is chlorine. So Na and Cl will combine together to form the NaCl. The next thing it is telling us about is uh, uh, the uh, chemical combination means to say that these different types of elements will combine together by means of a chemical combination. It is the uh, mixing, it is the combination and this combination is due to certain type of attractive forces between the elements. There must be something which will keep them attracted towards each other and this attraction is called the chemical bond. A chemical bond is the attractive force between the elements which held them together by means of the electrons. I have told you earlier with that when the electrons are involved, so it means that there is a chemical reaction. So we can say that hydrogen and oxygen will react chemically to form the H2O compound. Is it fine? The next thing it is telling us is the fixed ratio by mass. It means that uh, when a compound, for example, H2O, so always it will be having the same composition. Two hydrogen, one oxygen. And it uh, uh, is uh, regardless of its source. Means to say that the rainwater is having the same composition, the underground water is the same composition, or the water we get from any other source will have the same composition. Biomass means uh, we uh, can see that uh, uh, from the formula we can see that hydrogen, two hydrogen and one oxygen are combined together to form the water molecule. Now mass means we will calculate the masses, we will uh, add up the masses of the atoms, individual atom, atomic masses will be added up to make the mass of the water compound. Atomic mass of hydrogen is 1, atomic mass of oxygen is 16. Here we have two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. So 2 multiplied by 1 plus 16 will give us 18. This is the mass of the water H2O and it will always be the same. Fine. If we disturb this ratio, for example, if we take two hydrogens with two oxygen, so the ratio is disturbed. You can see that two oxygens are combining with the two hydrogen atom. It is no more water and it will be having completely different properties from that of water. Fine. It is a compound, but not water. It is called hydrogen peroxide. Clear? Now we will move towards the properties of these compounds. So the first property we have discussed is the fixed composition. Second thing we know is they are chemically combined together. When there is a chemical combination, so its separation is difficult. They can be separated from each other, but the separation is diff difficult. For example, they can't be separated by physical means. Physical means that filtration cannot uh, make them separate from each other as electrons are involved so they can be decomposed decomposed means ki jis cheez se ye milke bana hua hai unhi mein dobara convert ho jai fine aur wo chemical combination hai so again we will need a chemical means to decompose them for example we have seen that water is a combination of hydrogen and oxygen so to make them split again into hydrogen and oxygen we will need about 2000 degrees centigrade of energy and this energy will break the water molecule into hydrogen and oxygen. This is called the decomposition. Fine. The next important thing about uh, the compound is that the properties of the elements are different from the compounds they make. Means to say that water is made up of hydrogen and oxygen. Hydrogen is a gas, oxygen is a gas. Gaseous substances have completely different properties. And when they combine together, they form a liquid water molecule. Fine. And you know that liquid is having completely different properties. So the properties, the individual properties of the elements, hydrogen and oxygen are lost in the formation of water molecule. Clear? 
The next thing it is uh, having uh, the important property is that the melting and boiling point of water molecules are very much sharp. Not not just water molecules. I am talking about the compounds. It is sharp. Sharp means exact. Always we will have the same melting and boiling point. Melting point is that temperature at which any solid is melted. Boiling point is that temperature at which the liquid starts boiling. So the melting point of water is 0 degree centigrade and boiling point of water is 100 degree centigrade and it will remain always the same for pure water molecules. Fine. Come towards the types of the organic uh, types of the compounds. Here we are having two major types of organic compounds. Sorry, compounds. The first one is organic compound and the second one is called inorganic compounds. Organic compounds are the compounds of carbon and hydrogen while inorganics are the compounds of elements other than carbon. We are having about 10 millions of organic compounds while the inorganic are about 2 to 3 millions. Is it clear? Organic compounds are usually obtained from the living organisms while the inorganic compounds are obtained from the non-living things. Is it fine? Now come towards the representation. How we can represent the compound? A compound can be represented by a formula. What is a formula? A formula is telling us about the symbols of the elements and also the number of atoms. You have seen that H2O tells us about hydrogen and oxygen. From the symbols, we can say that hydrogen and oxygen are combined. And from the number, you can see H2O. It means that two hydrogen atoms and one oxygen atom. Is it fine? We are having certain simple common compounds and their chemical names with their formulas. Number one is common salt, sodium chloride and its formula is NaCl. Second one is chili saltpeter. It's Chemical name is sodium nitrate and its formula is NaNO3. Can you tell me how many elements are there in NaNO3? Yes, there are three elements. Sodium, nitrogen, oxygen. What is the ratio? Sodium is 1, nitrogen is 1 and here we are having three oxygens. Clear? Caustic soda. It is called chemically sodium hydroxide and its formula is NaOH. The other one we are having is baking soda, sodium bicarbonate. Sodium bicarbonate it, uh, carbonate is its chemical name and its formula is NaHCO3. From this you can see we are having the ratio 1 Na, 1 hydrogen, 1 carbon and 3 oxygens. The next comes towards the compounds of calcium bleaching powder. It is called calcium hypochlorite. Calcium hypochlorite. CaOCl2. The other one is lime water, milk of lime, or it is called slacked lime. Calcium hydroxide. CaOH2. Commonly, we have to say that we have to say that Clear? The other one we are having is lime, which is called quick lime, calcium oxide. Ye chuna hai hamare paas. Theke? Limestone is ko chune ka pathar kaha jata hai. Calcium carbonate is its chemical name, CaCO3. Is it fine? The other one compound we are having is magnesia, MgO, magnesium oxide. Recall your memories, calcium oxide is called lime, magnesia is the magnesium oxide. And the last one we are having is the marsh gas which we usually use in our domestic uh, purposes, for domestic purposes and other purposes it is called methane, its formula is CH4. So dear students, today we discussed about the compound, that what compound is, it is the combination of two or more chemical combination. Fine. Then we have seen, we have discussed the properties of these compounds. They have sharp melting and boiling point. They cannot be broken down easily. They can be decomposed. Fine. What a decomposition means? Decomposition means that just cheez se aapke paas ek compound bana hai, usme usko break kiya jaye. But it is not easy again. It will need certain chemical procedures. Fine. Then we discussed the common names. 
केमिकल नेम्स एंड फॉर्मूलर्स ऑफ सर्टन कॉमन कंपाउंड Do you remember what are chili salt? Peter is having the formulas Na, NO3. I hope this will help you.